So, some things have changed since the last episode. One, I got a saddle. And two, I became a landlord to this guy. Hello. Wait, no, that's the wrong way. T Hi. Hi. This dude is pretty cool. His name is Pink Penguin. Hi. Said hi to him. I don't know if he thinks I don't trust him or not because I ran into my house and he ran there. I'm guessing he's gathering supplies he needs for his house. I built them a little house over here just kind of as a joke because they were like, oh, we want a house in someone's realm as that. And so I, I gave that to them and I built them a little house. Say hi. Hi. Hello everybody, my name is Austin Smith or Super Mega Smith and welcome back to the Origin Realms server. Now, some things have changed since the last episode and I'm going to show you all of that, but first, I've got more rubies now. So, woo! Uh, in the last episode I made an enchantment table and then, then I made another one and decided to sell it and I sold it for 100 rubies and I got 100 rubies and that was nice. But that's not all I gained, so if I come out here, hello Cooper, how you doing? You staring at the wall? Just pushing the button as happy as can be. Look, he's waving his arms. He's got his nose there. Ah, you're adorable, Cooper. Okay, let's go show you what all has changed. Here we go. Why is my audio so low? There we go. My headphones were turned down. All right, you can see it over here. Ooh, big lag spike there. That was weird. I've got a little farm going on. Uh, ooh, more lag spike. Jeez, I hope that does not continue. Uh, so I've got some chickens, some pigs, and some cows. Okay, this lag apparently is wanting to continue. Is it just this area? Is this area just too much for it? There's all these empties. What? Because, like, oh my god. Like, can you guys see the lag? Maybe it's just because I got on the server. It'll calm down. I don't know. Yeah, there we go. It's calmed down. But, yeah, I've got some chickens, and I've got some pigs, and some cows. Uh, this was fun to collect all that. Uh, I also added some new vegetables to my ever-expanding farm here. I really need to make it look better. I've got myself some carrots and some potatoes. So that was awesome. And then I met this really cool dude. His name was Johnny38 or something. I wonder if he's on. Uh, I don't see him, but I could also just be an idiot. So if you see him and you see his name, make sure to thank him. What a cool dude he was. If he somehow sees this video, thanks again. Uh, he just kind of asked me to teleport to his world. I did. It was really cool. I didn't get any clips of this because I wasn't recording at the time. I just I didn't have the energy to do it. I was feeling very drained from work. Uh, but he gave me some cool stuff. I got to see his house, and oh my god, it was amazing. He came here, and he was giving me some tips. And you guys in the comments have been giving me some tips. I'll put up one image now of one. They told me that I can actually get rubies from the resource world. So that's pretty cool. And I'm going to go see that. Uh, but I put all the stuff he gave me up here. Wait, no, this is the nether chest. Where did I put it? I put it somewhere. Ah, this chest here. So he gave me an iron sword, some potatoes, some suspicious stew, some pumpkin pie, cookies, cake, more suspicious stew. A bow, 64 arrows, 2 golden apples, and 58 carrots. So that was pretty awesome of him. Uh, I haven't got... I don't think I've gotten any more resources since we went to the nether in the last episode. Uh, I've lost a few thanks to the whole selling the enchantment table. I wonder what my auction house is looking at right now. Because I believe I had some bamboo for auction. So let's check that out. No, actually everyone's bought all my stuff. Cool. So I can actually go put some stuff up. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take three diamonds... I'm actually going to auction those three diamonds off for 50 rubies. Should I do 100? Mm, I'm going to do 100. We'll see what we can get because that's enough to make a diamond pick. You know what? Actually, I'm just doing... I'll do 75. No, 50. I'll just do 50 because 50 seems like a good number. But you know what? Actually... I'm going to keep the diamonds. I'm going to keep the diamonds, and instead, I'm going to auction off a bucket of lava. Because one of the main reasons I built the volcano in the last episode, which it has 
it's it's still going strong. It still looks great. I think I've added a few pebbles around. Don't know if I did that in the last episode or not. But it looks pretty good. Uh, but the reason I wanted to get a lava farm was to actually sell buckets of lava. Because I, I think there'll be some people who are interested in buckets of lava. I don't know. Uh, some things in, in my setup in real life have changed. I'm rocking a triple monitor setup now, which isn't super new to me as I... No, Cooper, get back inside. Cooper, back inside. Now, get back in here. You can't be out here. What if it rains? Get get back in there. No, not under the lamp. No. No, back in there. Go. 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 There we go, and he's locked up forever. Nice. Um, I forgot what I was going to say. Uh, but I wanted to sell buckets of lava because I was pretty sure people wanted buckets of lava. I mean, you know, they're a cool thing to get, and this way you don't have to risk your life looking for it. So I'm going to auction off each bucket of lava at 50 rubies. That is almost my name. That is definitely not auction. Let's tab that and fix that all up and then change that to 50. There we go. Confirm. Awesome. So we've got that. I want to sell some of these eggs. So I'm going to sell 16 eggs and that is going to be sold for 25 rupees. That is not how you do it. I keep wanting to type my name. It's just kind of the AU automatically makes my brain go A-U-S-T-I-N and it's because I've been doing it for 20 years now. Holy crap, I'm old. <sighs> okay. 25 rubies. There we go. I can't click on it because the check kept moving. I thought it was raining for a second. It's not. The mob farm has been going. It's not strong. Part of me seems to think that it might have to do with the fact that we are on a server. Because from what I can tell, there is no way that this should not be working. So I think what I'm going to do is pop into a testing world and build it and just give that a few minutes and see if any ha anything happens, you know? Because, I mean, I'm going to have to rebuild it the exact way I built it here, which isn't super hard. This isn't a super complicated design or anything. Uh, but it's just... And then I need to fix this. I really do need to fix this. Make this more pleasant. More pleasant to look at, you know? Because right now it's just a bunch of mixtures of stone. And while each individual stone looks pretty nice, I, I kind of like this whole darker to lighter thing. Then I have this. So I, I need to fix it all. And this actually works for the skeletons. Because they are skeleton horses. I still don't have a name for you. So if you have a name for them in the comments below, please leave it. There's another skeleton horse on the outside over here. Oh, sh okay, goodbye. Oh, um, what? Just, the, 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 it's not even raining, but <laughs> that was an act from God himself. <laughs> What the hell? They can hit me through the barrier. They can shoot me through. They, they, he's coming through the barrier. He came through the barrier. Oh my god, he came through the barrier. Holy crap. Okay, retreat back inside the house. Back inside the house. Apparently, I'm just in a skeleton horse central area. If only I could sell the skeleton horses. All right, you know what? I, I'm going to kill this dude. I'm going to kill him. And he's brought reinforcements. Okay, then. Uh, you you can have this. I'm abandoning ship. I'm I'm going someplace else now. That's what he thinks. But actually, get you know what? I've got a better bow in here. I think I've got this one. Has where is it? Power bow. Here we go. So take that. Take some arrows. And then I'm gonna go shoot this dude. I also I, did I make an anvil? I did. Okay, cool. So I can fix this. Oh, crap. I gotta be careful, because the skeleton horses are peaceful creatures. But the skeletons themselves... I don't want to hit the skeleton horse! We're engaged in an epic duel to the death. And I won. Alright, let's get this gear back into the house! Ah! I feel like I'm running really slow. Ah, no, get in. Cooper, don't shut me out. Wait, he can't. Okay, so does this have power? This has power one, this has power one. 
You know what that means, though. Bam! Power two bow. Nice. Let's go. All right. Let's go kill the other one. Engaged in a duel. This is more epic than watching a Call of Duty Warzone fight. And now I've got another skeleton horse. Hey, come back. So arrows can pass through, so... Okay, retreat! Ah, uh, nope. Missed. Cool. Ha! Ah! Why are you trying to eat stuff? You are a skeleton. You don't have a stomach. This is insane, man. No! Oh, you bastard. You're hiding behind the trees to stop me from hitting you. You're trying to sacrifice your own horse. How dare you? You monster. I've got an axe for that very situation. Get out of here, pal. I'm sorry that he wanted to sacrifice you, skeleton horse. Oh, you didn't deserve that now, did you? No. No, you didn't. Horses eat carrots. I'm correct, right? Pretty sure I'm correct. So, do skeleton horses eat carrots? Pretty sure they would. So, if I run over here, can I enclose these horses? Do they actually eat anything? I don't know if they do. How do you breed horses? So they've got to be tamed. And unfortunately, well, I can tame them. I just can't move them. So. Or maybe I can't feed them at all because they are, in fact, skeletons. Because I can ride on them, no problem. They're not kicking me off like, you know, other horses do. So they are tamed. I've got four here. I don't really have room for more, and they're just, it's kind of becoming a problem. I've got one, two, three, four. I've got eight skeleton horses. Nothing I can do with them unless I get a saddle, and even then, they're limited to this world only, so. Hmm. Someone is selling copper golems. I guess he comes to your world and builds them. Uh, that's pretty neat. I could do that. I've got a lot of copper. A, one of my chickens died. I didn't kill a chicken. Ugh. I don't know what I don't know what to do with these guys. Uh, I don't want to leave them just roaming, but I also don't want to like build more pens for them because I've got four already. Ugh. I'm going to be a jerk. I'm going to kill one. I want to see what happens. Do they drop bones? Uh, oh, they do, but that noise. Oh, ah, I feel so terrible inside. Ah, it wasn't worth it. My morality. Oh, if it wasn't for the fact I've got 22 levels, I would kill myself to e equal things. E e e e e e e even them out. I can hear Cooper pressing the button from over here. So, plan for today's episode, because this has been off to a bit of a hectic start. The plan for today's episode is to build a better furnace system. Because right now, it's okay at the two it is. But I want to make one that works across more. So I think what I'm going to have is a total of... like I want to have a total of 10 furnaces. So I'm going to need hoppers, minecart rails... Unless I just want to manually put all the items in via chest. So I'm probably going to do the whole minecarts thing. Uh, so that means I've got to go mining and get some more iron and stuff. So you know what that means? It's time for a, a pretty quick resource gathering session. I'll see you guys when that's all done. I am here. Hello, elf mite. It's, it's all mite dressed as a Christmas elf. I love it. This is great. Recently started watching My Hero Academia like a few months back, and I've already made it through all of season five so far. Such a great show. If you haven't seen it, you should totally check it out. The characters, the plot, the humor, the action, everything is amazing. Plus, there's a lot of real life comic book references in it to like the comic industry. It, it's it's just so good to watch. So definitely check it out if you can.
man. Now there's two skeleton horses. Alright, so finished the resource gathering. Started crafting up stuff and smelting stuff. And then I built this little platform out. This is where it is going to go. And I have to get rid of these trees here to get it in place. And then start setting everything up. So if I remember correctly, what I need to have is minecarts running on top of the hoppers that go into the furnaces. So I'm going to have a line of furnaces and then on top is going to be hoppers and then to the side is also going to be hoppers and then have a minecart system running across from it. Man, I'm getting a lot more animals nowadays. It's crazy. Okay. So let's go ahead and get that started. Do I have all the materials I need on me? I should have the majority of it. I need to break down this thing, but I think it's, yeah, it's still cooking out some uh, copper right now. So I'll wait till that's done and then move that over. So this is basically how it's going to work is you have, instead of these chests, you have uh, minecart hoppers running on top of the furnaces themselves. So it's using... Not my, on top of the furnace, but on top of this. So it's it's using quite a lot. It's a bit of a pain to say goodbye to this. It's been part of my house since near the beginning now. But goodbyes must happen in order for something greater to happen. Oh, I need to oxidize. I mean, deoxidize you. All right, where is... There we go. Acacia planks. So now I've got this whole corner back. I'm going to put that there and then start work on building this whole system out so we need the 10 furnaces that's gonna go up and then you're gonna have the do i have them i think i should have a minecart running below as well so i've got some building blocks here man i'm gonna have to take care of this these animals here because there's some lag happening that is quite annoying. So here is where the drop-off carts are going to be. Like that. And then you have a hopper. Like so. Perfect. And then you just have whatever block you want here. I've got these. I had bigger plans for the stone bricks themselves, but then I just ended up not using them. So, now I feel a bit like an idiot. Alright, so this is where one layer of my cart is going to go. And it's going to lead directly to here. I'm going to need like a stair or a glass pane there. And then up here is furnace. That is not where the furnace goes. Get back here, you. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, this isn't going to work. Oh, dude. I thought a creeper was there. I was afraid for a second. Alright, so I need to fix this up real quick. And then, where do I end up having... I guess I'll have the output chest here. Perfect. And then... Minecart there. And we'll just have... I'm out of... No, I'm not out of stone bricks. Good. Alright. So we'll run into that. We'll put a stopping block here for now. I'll have to remove that. And then up here we'll have all of the furnaces. And then above that we are going to have the hoppers that go into it in order to input items. So I'm going to need to place the rails here. Then we should also have a block here so we can stop the minecarts. Uh, I think it's actually got to go a few more. We'll see. Anyways, let's put this in. All right, so I've cleared up some of the leaves a tad bit still here. I was hoping that by getting rid of the logs down here, it would have got rid of it, the whole entirety of the tree. But then I realized... This is a really massive tree. It's got a bunch of different logs spread them. Long stit, a long stit, a log stit. Ah! Screw English. It is the worst. All right. Not actually. I, I, it's, I don't know what I'm saying anymore. Ah. Okay. So. 
Well, let me eat these melons and then I'll explain what I need to do. Nope, that's not it. I am placing in these minecarts and these rails. And right now I've got to stop these rail from heading down this way. So that's going to be annoying. And this is probably the worst part of this design is having to do this, but eh. How are you still doing that? How are you going through this block? Okay. Uh, okay. There we go. We can just do that. Perfect. And we'll get rid of that. Will that lock up that hopper? No, 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 okay, perfect. And then one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then we need another block here. And then I should have some rails spread out through here now. Uh, I need that. There's an apple. I need that chest. And I'll need that, and then I'm I'm just clearing out all these hoppers so that way nothing breaks it when I am finished with it. This design could have used a bit more work to make it look nicer. I had bigger plans and then just forgot about them, and now I'm a bit too far into the process to break everything down and redesign it, and that's okay. Alright, let's see. Let's get back up here. Oh my god, you stupid leaves, I swear. I hate leaves so much right now. I've never been annoyed by leaves more than I am right now. Why did I choose to build this location here? Okay, so I need... No! Damn it! Ah! Why are you doing that? <sighs> Jesus, what the hell is that thing? What the hell? Oh, please say that's, oh my God. That came out of nowhere and freaking terrified me. I am so scared right now, guys. I am. What the? You can't come in here, bro. No. You know what? Die. What the hell was that thing? Ah, oh, God. No. <laughs> you are terrifying, pal. You are terrifying. That This is like a horror movie. I... He can teleport into my house! Shadow cloak, so it gives me bones and a... Can I put this on? No. Okay, then. I'm so confused and startled. I, I, uh, so I, I was just in the process of clearing up this wood because I finished putting the minecarts in and everything. And then all of a sudden there was that shadow thingy that looks like a skeleton d d mentor thing that that was friggin terrifying. Like, holy crap. Alright, so I need to make sure I've got one there. I've got one there. Perfect. And now I can place in the levers and the minecarts. And I'm going to need more minecarts for down here as well. So this is going to be a process. But don't worry, I've got it, you guys. So I'll see you guys when that is done. Alright, now I'm placing in all of the hoppers with minecarts. Probably should have left my scaffolding blocks around just for this part. 
Uh, okay, there's that one. Oh, nope, I did not mean to move that, but again, a friggin' tree leaf got in the way. This is the first time I've ever been annoyed by these things. Typically, I love leaves. I think they're the best block in Minecraft a lot of the time. They're like one of my favorites of all time, actually. Now I need to go make more levers, and then this thing should be fully functioning. So basically put a lever here, a lever there, and then the same on the back areas. And then a lever here. And then I believe I'm going to need a stair here. So I'll make a stone brick stair. Did it go into the... Alright, so I'll see you guys when that's... I am probably going to have to kill some of these animals soon. Uh, slight change in design. Now the chest goes out a bit further and I've got two of these here. And now I gotta worry about this hopper locking up. So I'm going to need a slightly different design. I'm going to have to put this here. And hopefully that doesn't lock up the hopper. So if I throw stuff over here, well, maybe I should be on the other side. So if I throw stuff. All right, cool. That doesn't lock that up. Uh, I also did make stone stairs, but they look weird. Uh, this thing should be all functioning now. So if I grab stuff that I want to smelt, I don't know what I want to smelt right now. I uh, thought I saw fish or something. I was like, fish? So if I grab... Let's see, what should I smelt? I've got no ores that I need to smelt. Although I do need to take this and put this in there. Uh, any stones that I wanted smelting? Any plants for food or anything? Hmm. You know what? I, I'm going to make myself a stack of stone bricks just to prove that this thing works to myself. Uh, and if it doesn't, I'm going to cry because this has taken me quite a bit of time to do. I'm also going to need to move that sheep to another pin with another sheep and then figure out how to get rid of all these animals that are everywhere. So if I put up here the things I want smelted, that would be that. Now go through, although I think that's actually just all going through there. So I'd have to move that there and have that go back and forth. So that way that gets all that hooked up. And then make sure these levers are flipped on. Just as much as this one is. Wait, what is happening here? Ah, no. Leaf. All right, there we go. Now that should be running back and forth, and then I just put this in here, and we should see everything start filing in. All these will start lighting up. Oh, tis a thing of beauty, tis it's not. And then over here, so I'll make this an entrance. All right, bam. We'll put the dirt here. We'll just make that as this, as if this was planned like so. So I have an entrance and an exit here awesome look at this this is great and then i can flip this lever make sure that's flipped down and it'll start connecting and pouring into this chest this whole thing is working nice i should probably go flip off the back chest once i've made sure that all of it has poured in there so there's that and then i only have to flip off one lever and we're good to go this whole design is working i've got a proper super smelter going now with 10 furnaces nice does this... No, this ran out of blocks, not out of fuel. Let's turn that off. Awesome. Okay, cool. So this is going to go through and get quite a lot of it done, I would say. Well, that's what I would say, but, like, it's missing quite a lot, too. 27, 5, how much... I'm just going to have to... I, I put a stack in there, didn't I? I'm going to clear out my inventory while this is happening and then figure out what to do about all these guys. So I'll see you when that is done. Ooh, 15 eggs. Nice. 
Actually, this is producing a lot of eggs nowadays. When I first got this farm set up, it wasn't producing, like, any. Okay, I'm going to have to get rid of these animals in here. This is pretty bad. Okay, I also need to turn this off. Because lag. There we go. Yeah, there we go. 64 stone. Awesome. Now I can put this up uh, or turn it into stone bricks. I don't know which I'm going to do with it, but hey, the super smelter works. That's one project done. Nice. Okay, so stone. I'm also going to have to change my whole system around. Oh, yeah. Uh, I, I organized this in the colors of the rainbow the best I could. So Roy G. Biv. Just, I thought it would be fun. Uh, and it was. A little mind-numbing task like that. So I'm going to go clear out my mob spawner. See what, if I've got anything going in here really good not really but hey i'll take any bit of it just to prove that it works and it does i mean it's working it's just not super super effective and i think i've still got to go through and light up a lot more of the island so i think the next episode is going to deal instead of a super fast time lapse uh thingy go do a super fast light up area and then i'm also going to organize these chests so up here i've actually i got so much cobblestone that i had to make another cobblestone chest so that's cobblestone chest and then down here is all the materials he gave me i'm actually going to organize this real quick i was in the process of little i was in the process of putting everything away and then i remembered i have a unbreaking bow that he gave me alongside my power two bow so i'm actually going to put those two together get a fully powered power two and unbreaking one bow that's nice. I don't know if I'll ever really need another bow again unless I go and enchant it. Speaking of enchantments, one reason I had to get the cow farm going was so I could get leather so I can make bookshelves and then make myself some bookcases for my actual enchanting table. Now, I'm sorry to say this, but you skeleton horses need to go. You have been hoarding my chicken pin. Not really doing way too much, but you've been kind of an eyesore for me this time. So just consider this your eviction notice. Uh, go find someplace else in this world to live, okay? Cool. See you guys. Uh, I'm happy I got this area working. I might eventually give it a roof and stuff. Uh, I'm going to light it up a bit. Bam. Bam. That block is just going to stay floating because why not? Have torches going here and here. Awesome. Awesome. And this whole thing is, it's, it's done. Yeah, I set out to do it, and I did it, and I'm happy with it, and it gives me more room in the house. And it beats the system I had before, which was only working on two. So now whenever I do mining sessions... Oh, we just saw another mob drop. I wonder what it was. Place your bets now. Creeper, a skeleton, or a zombie. Or nothing, apparently. Oh, well, that was a zombie. Why didn't it? I'm confused. I'm so confused right now. I'm just going to chalk it up to the server playing up. Uh, I do need to get rid of some of these creatures. And then there should be another... Uh, what is it? A sheep over here. So what I want to do is I want to create a sheep farm. All right kill that pig i'll kill the other one because i don't need that many pigs at all and then i'm going to make cobblestone walls and get myself a little sheep pin going on i'll see you guys when that's done all right where'd you go mr sheep come on follow me pal come on you can do it all right come on you guys in here no 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 crowding Come on, come on, you can do it. Come on in. There you go. I also lost a few chickens, unfortunately. Since those chickens wanted freedom so bad, I will give them freedom. Freedom from their lives. Goodbye. There we go. So we got that. I'm going to feed my sheep real quick and then go grab... I think I have more fence gates. If I don't, I can make some. And I'll be done. I thought that rose was a spider's eye for a second. Uh, yeah, that just kind of helps things out a bit. Although, this area is starting to get a bit laggy with all the entities and stuff around. 
Uh, so that's not good, but we'll figure it out. All right, well, that's going to do it for this episode. We did quite a lot. We did a nice mining session. We fixed our farm up a tad bit. I don't have the heart to kill those skeleton horses, so they're going to be stuck there until they decide they want to leave, I guess. Um, uh, and we built the furnace system, the super smelter. That actually is a super smelter now compared to what I had before, which was just a kind of mediocrely fast, better than just you know, manually putting in blocks into two furnaces. Uh, so now I've got a tin furnace system that does pretty much things semi-automatically, and that's pretty great. So that's where I'm going to end the episode. Thank you very much for watching. If you've enjoyed the episode, make sure to leave a like. If you're new around here, maybe consider subscribing. And I'll see you guys when I see you. Goodbye. Goodbye.